Some big changes have been made to Miss America contest this year, but many don't even know because of its record low viewership. Years and years of criticism by the left, Miss America has finally backed down and nobody was there to notice. The New York Times reported on the changes explaining, for starters, this year's event was called a competition, not a pageant, and the participants were candidates interviewing for the job of Miss America, not contestants. There was no runway this year and the word Miss had been stripped from the sashes, though each still had a little pocket that could conceal a lipstick tube. And, of course, in the wake of Me Too, there were no swimsuits. This was the debut of the newer, woker Miss America, or Miss America 2.0, as it has been rebranded by its new chair, Gretchen Carlson, the former Fox News anchor and Miss America 1989. This year's candidates, as the show's televised introduction explained, were diverse and inclusive, empowered, leaders, and beautiful inside and out. And I think it's great that Contestants included STEM graduates and programmers. It's always good to show off the best of women. Pageants often get a bad rap, but there's so many other aspects than beauty to these pageants. The winner has to showcase a multitude of talents to be crowned the winner. But I think it's just too much to change the entire pageant and make it overtly political because that's what they've done here. You can't watch anything nowadays without it being preachy. Maybe this is why viewership is low. Who would want to tune into politically correct drivel and see shows and competitions they've loved for years completely ruined? Margot Mifflin, an English professor from the City University of New York, said at some point people didn't need to see scantily clad ladies on the stage anymore. They could see it on their computers. The audience turnout has certainly been declining. I mean, I feel like they are degrading themselves if they think it's all about scantily clad women. There's more to it than this. And we shouldn't underestimate the power political correctness has to turn viewers off. Oh, and by the way, four of the top five finalists were women of color. So, so much for diversity, right? I think the constant drama regarding the pageants has put people off as well who would want to watch a show that's been the center of a boring, drawn-out feud over alleged sexism. I mean, I hope they learn from this mistake and go back to a traditional pageant. I hope they make it fun again, and I'm sure the rest of the viewers who didn't tune in this time do as well. If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.